Oh, yeah, we are. Hey, yay, we're back up. Hello, everyone, if you're still around. Sorry for the inconvenience. Welcome to Twitch. Hello, everyone. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I guess hopefully we can manage to make through all of this. Um, <laughs> I don't know where to begin. But I guess it is what it is. See how we do. We the people are the ones who gonna have to fight. We used to say, which side are you on? Which side are you on? The truth is we're in so much debt that the only way out is revolution or war. So now the question is, which side are you on? On, on, on. Which side are you on, boy? Which side are you on, my daughter? Which side are you on, boy? Which side are you on, my daughter? See, before I draw the line, let me welcome you close to all the folks who knew Obama sold the people of hopes. Gave the money to suckers while our community still poor. Withdrew the troops but started another war. Colonizing, and terrorizing, and creating the oil crisis. So they can make a killer, no food and gas prices. Prisons is filling, they trying to lock up the future. Militarized borders and control of computers. Want a stupid bump of music that ain't healthy for the shortest. Privatizing schools and policemen in the hallways. Can't be dormant, I'm awoken. Rise up, be ready. Brought the family with us and we hold the machetes. Riding the fence, riding the fence. Too many people be riding the fence. Yeah, you say you ready for war, but are you convinced? I'm not convinced If you're a rider, freedom fighter, crowd excited, then let's do this We can make one big united middle finger to the US Give me the bravest and the truest, fuck the hippest and the coolest We gon' spark this revolution and cross this off our to-do list Put your foot down if you look down on this criminal system Put your book down and get shook down like my niggas in prison Don't be condemning and condoning their actions in one sentence But keep your mind, choose your side, that you a patriot or a menace to society So riot or sit by quietly But don't pull out your flag and try to say you gon' ride with me You flip flop like hip hop, I don't get locked in that trick box. Get got like big and pop, shit's got to stop. I am the people, not the big. I repeat after Fred, so please blow my brains out if I ever forget. I'm with the independent thinkers, I'm down with the movers and the shakers and the ex handy drinkers, the non smokers, the health advocates, the non voters, the young bloods in the hood training like soldiers. I'm on the side of the tracks with the hood gardens, the little child that don't color inside the margins. I don't ride the fence, I cultivate my strength. Cause if it ain't about power, it don't make sense I've been down with Boogie Down since BDP some brown pride And black power make RBG An OG told me choose battles wisely In the struggle, don't forget your children and your wifey If you don't see me on the podium preaching it Every day I hope my every action is teaching it Cause revolution is a process It's not a speech or a panel It'll bite off more than you can handle Palestina, Venezuela, the cell phones, baby. Yeah. Hey yo, I still rock hard like slingshots in Palestina Con todos los estudiantes por educación gratuita I'm with workers uprising and the right to unionize We ain't cross the border so you better legalize I'm with La Peña del Bronx I'm still with Vitor Toro Cause gentrification is polluting my borough So bro, never South Bronx forever Decolonize the block, make your neighborhood better I ain't down with the rich, I'm more Richie Perez Don't talk to grand juries or cooperate with feds I'm with students, doctors Janitors, teachers, we need living wages, but they don't believe us. Monida, Barreto, Spofford, Hunts Point, my point, my head, I love, we join forces, forming our deck, BS. 
Taking over buildings, rapping D house for the children. Politics to sickness, streets express symptoms. Caught up with a quickness, big business pimps them. Scholars play the simple tin, fools play with wisdom. Who will stand and fight back? Who will play the victim? Trials and tribulations, ancient generations, stolen history and outsourced innovation. Battle Tower fell, tribes are at war. The battle story's not represented in the score. The game's fixed, most of the faces and names switch. Credit stolen for art, science, religion, language, technology, philosophy, and with strangers. They paid in hatred for the knowledge of the ancients. Power in words, actions, gun swords. A Panthers Brown parades, young lords. Pick a side, one sickness, one cure, one love, one blood, one world, but one war. Okay, so we're going to try this again, seeing as how apparently it was, uh, Twitch was having some issues, so we're trying this again this morning, and hopefully um, things work out smooth, hopefully. Hopefully. It's almost like, do I really want to play some videos all the time? Or do I want to kind of sit back and keep an eye out and see whether or not it's going to go again? It's like, damn, Twitch. Fix your shit, bruh. <laughs> So how's everyone doing? Yeah, it's a bit of a gamble at this point. Seems like it may be a bit more stable now. So far, it's looking good. So far. I loaded up earlier. We went for like, I think one song and I think it cut out like in between it, in between the next song. I was like, damn. Hey, Double, are you still here? If you're still here, say hi in chat. Oh, excuse me. Well, you know, King of William. It's not like I didn't expect it. To be honest, it's not like I didn't expect it. The problem that we have is too many people are still stuck on holding on to colonialism and imperialism. They're, they're too afraid of what possibilities could be because they've never known it. All they've ever known is being a slave underneath capitalism. So, when faced with actual freedom, it's, you know, it's like when you take a prisoner and you keep them in prison for like 20 years. And when they get out, they don't know what to do. They're scared. They're nervous. All they know is the life that they grew up in or the life that they spent 20 plus years in. It's called, um, what do they call it again? Um, institutionalized. It's an actual thing.
And they would, yeah, 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 true. Freedom is is scary, especially when you're not used to it. Yeah, exactly, Jimbo. Freedom is scary if you're not used to it. Last time I was free, I was a toddler. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Running around with no diaper and going, woohoo, fuck that. Oh no, Mag, you, Mago, you missed it. Um, I went on to Prime's panel last night and basically got bombarded being the only indigenous person that was talking about uh, land back and so forth. So I got bombarded. Well, that's okay. I got big shoulders. Well, you know, I mean, Mago, you know, I mean, it's to be expected, right? When, when faced with real, with real truth and real freedom, it's, you know, like, a, like, you know, it's like being institutionalized. I thought they had a special energy. Several panelists went masks off as far as I was concerned. Yeah. Yeah. Many of them went masked off. You got to see a lot of things that, you know, you didn't think that that was the case. It was quite interesting. up that mirror shows a lot of warts <laughs> yeah king of williams yeah and yeah jimbo few things get me angry like willful ignorance yeah and king of uh, king of williams you know there are some of them i was actually i was actually kind of surprised because you know some of them call themselves the left and they went max off this was giddy ma uh, master Bory's ignorance, yeah. But some of them call themselves the left and they went masked off. Hey radio. And if you noticed, if you watched towards the end, they were all hoping that they had somehow beaten me out of out of treaties and 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 being a nation and sovereignty and all these things. They hoped they had beaten me, beaten it out of me. Well, no, I'm still here. I'm still saying no. Nope. <laughs> You know, they're like, oh, well, what about, you know, some of these land backs and stuff like that? Like, not like cities and stuff. It's like, well, you know, uh, sorry. We're going to always keep making sure that until, you know, the treaties are honored. But they're old, yeah, and? With allies like these, who needs enemies, yeah. Well... What do you do? They've been trying for 400 years, Lapalog. So they ain't shit. Yeah. Oh, Mago, I got called Batman last night, too. I got called a Batman with a cape. They were embarrassing their parents 
Had they known, yeah. Well. <sighs> yep, Batman. <laughs> oh, by a young little kid, too. His ball sacks haven't even dropped yet, and he was trying to call me Batman. Yeah, exactly, the Joker, right? Yeah, well. Yeah, he did, but they weren't being much of an antagonist. And then again, you know, I mean, James Tome, I apparently walked in on something. Hey, what's up, Jamie? We were just talking about a panel that I was on last night, in the middle of the night. Where some people decided to go mask off. Well, it's morning here, so it's, so far it's doing okay. I'm still alive, I'm still kicking. I do find it funny though, King of William, you know, even with knowing the true factors that unless even that, that, you know, scientists all around the world are all saying we need to start listening to the indigenous people. Uh, that's a good thing this time for sure. So the panel went bat crap on you. Yeah, it is what it is. I have thick skin. It's not the first time I've been surrounded by a bunch of people that weren't from my nation. Or my nationality wanting to try and take a piece out of me. And I'm still here. <laughs> or, man, or, 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 or the, the hilarious part was because I'm an indigenous person who still believes in their culture and their spiritual way of life, apparently that makes me less educated. Oh, it's extremely immigrant land resources management. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, King of Williams, that was, it was, you know, but what do you do? If anything, I think it's quite interesting because, you know, the ones that call themselves the left, I'm sorry that you went through that. Eh, Gage, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I got thick skin. I've been through worse. And it's a win. The way, yeah, exactly, King of Williams, it's a win. Because I just showed a whole entire, I just sat there and me just being there, talking about indigenous issues, had a whole panel masked off. I will always do that, Jimbo. I will always do that.
Yeah, yeah, I jammed. Yeah. What do you do? I mean, I, you know, all I can do is sit there and speak truth. And whether they wake up to it or not, that's up to them. But, you know, like I kept saying, hey, you know, all scientists across the world are all saying we have at least at the, you know, anywhere from 50 years to maybe 50-ish years left before we're completely wiped out as a species on this planet. But, hey, what do I know? Me and my ancestors, our ancestors have only been telling them for 500 plus years to be very careful of the footprints they leave upon this planet. But what do I know? <laughs> I mean, there was, you know, there was moments when they actually had some good questions and tried to be in good faith, but Yeah, exactly, Tom. Exactly, right? Exactly. All we can do is speak truth and set the example we wish to see. Always hoping our example be matched. Yep. The ego on these clowns just doesn't allow them to contemplate different ways. <clears throat> Sometimes, sadly, Mago. But I'm not mad at them. They're just, you know... The end feels so close, but it's business as usual. I try not to get too doomery because despair itself defeats self canceling. I try to do what I can. Yeah. Hey, Mealy. You know, Jimbo, at some point, you have to take in consideration that if we don't start doing something now, we're not going to be here anymore. And, and it's going to be in a faster than what we thought. Or what they originally were telling us. Those that were being paid by these big corporations, you know, oil companies and such. To make us believe that, you know, we can, we can, we can suck up all the resources from the land still there's none left. And nothing will happen. But at some point we have to realize that, you know, this is a factor of life and we have to change everything we're doing in order to still keep our species alive on this planet. We either change or we don't. If we don't, well then, you know, sorry. There goes seven generations of our, our, of our next generations or any generations for that matter. But also, the Biden administration is apparently far to the left for those panelists. Yeah, right? Object in the mirror are closer than they appear. How is how I think about it? Well, Gage, some things are just a little bit closer than what they actually appear to be in that mirror. Sadly. But it is what it is. They believe in mutual assured destruction and instant gratification. They claim like hard work as uh, perpetrate the easy way and refuse to see the path of destruction they lay. Yeah. Yes, I did, Mili. Thank you very much. There's this awesome person that happens to be in this chat, I do believe at the moment, who like literally donated the rest to hit the goal. And I am so honored to have them in my community and is, and, and, and so gracious and, and thankful for their help. They are truly amazing people.
Al Gage, some of the panelists were, were left, were supposedly left, left to as well, leftists as well. There was some right wingers, but there was a lot of them that were supposedly leftists as well. Which made it quite interesting. Prime, even after it was done, was asking me, Hey, Loss, are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I got thick skin. There's nothing that they can say to them that, say to me that's going to diminish or, or stop me from pushing, or my people from pushing the truth. I know, right, Gage? The panelists were self-described leftists, but they were on an imperialist trip and a very and very hostile to identity. Yes, they were. Which was quite interesting. Hey, good morning, Dorian. Oh, I went on to one of Prime's panels last night and uh, I got bombarded by both the right and the left wingers on it. Oh, don't worry, me, Max. Hey, Lovelace Silver. Has to die. After 500 years, kill him! Thank you for the follow, Silver. Yeah, I told him, yeah. To be honest, there aren't real leftists on Prime's panel. <laughs> No, wait, that's not true, Silver. I was on Prime's panel. There was a real leftist, an OG leftist right here that was there. Oh, yeah, that is the other thing they were arguing, King. Yeah, climate change was so, threat change was so threatening that they had the right to invade China, India, and Brazil. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, Miss Vivian did pop in and help out. Uh, she ba she backed me up. Uh, Iko also popped in and backed me up. Uh, yeah, would be on Prime's Prime K's masterpiece. Yeah, Silver, right? And then next thing you know, oh, what did we have a battle? What were they talking about? Going to war.
Yes, DJ. Yeah. I feel you, Silver. But it is what it is. Yes, Silver. Should have asked how it feels to be pimped out by military industrial complex and not even cash in a cash a check. Yeah, exactly, right, Mago? Oh, but what do I know? I'm just crazy tanky. <laughs> I know, Silver, right? They were tired of leftists who sit around respecting cultures and not invading other countries to prevent climate change. Yeah, King William. What do you do? I'm still gonna go in there every once in a while. I'm still gonna go into Prime's panel every once in a while, you know. You know, if I am the only person that's going to represent the left, then you know, it will be me compelling all the resources on war and omnibus stock. Yeah, Silver. So like, so do they support the U.S. being invaded because we do a lot of bad things to the environment? Yeah, I know, right, Gage? Exactly. You're a leftist, you're not stirring up shit. Yes, and you're not stirring up shit. You're doing something wrong, right, Jimbo? You have more strength than I do. That I just have zero patience for spoon for spoons of the court. I don't like that level of gaslighting. Yeah, I know, Silver. I know. Uh. Flash, 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 flash. Please don't make me your second channel being banned from. Okay? Okay? Flash? Okay? Yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. Hey, Mago. Thank you, Mago. Yeah, Gage, it was like... I noticed some of them were kind of... They said they didn't need to clean their room first. They don't need to clean their room first. Yeah, yeah, King Williams, yeah. But what do you do? What do you do? Hey, Renegade. What do you do? The sad part is they think going to war against China and Iran and others saves the planet. No, it doesn't. If China is the leader, leader in, in, in clean energy and shit, why are we going to war with China? The war condemns the planet to fire, rains, acid rains, etc. Yeah. 
Sinai so know told my soul the other day that they stopped the pipeline so Biden can sell it to China. I about lost my mind to explain very diplomatically. Well, yeah, exactly. Is this Dan Spelling literally lost an entire mountain to a landslide this past week? Yeah. Greed and white supremacy, yes, man. Isn't the U.S. military like one of the biggest contributors to greenhouse gases on the earth? Yes, Dorian. Very much so. I hear you, Tom. But it is what it is. Like, you know... We have to keep sitting back and speaking truth. We have to. So if we have it, we might as well use it. Yeah, exactly, Dorian, right? Saving the world, they're talking about using Saving the planet as a pretext for murder. Yes. Oh, let's check this out. Climate change, you all. Climate change. But hey, don't you know climate change isn't real? to the thought pattern, right? Welcome to the thought pattern. Landslides are caused by soil degradation and other harmful things in the to the environment. These things happen by capitalism, colonialism, etc. Yep. But let's not look at that, right? Oh, what was one of them said? Um, plankton is something like, what was it, 40 or 50% of the oxygen that the planet gets? Yet we're poisoning our waterways constantly, daily. And we're stream cutting, and we're, 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 we're clear cutting. Conception stream within a stream in the stream. Yeah, exactly right. Renegade, uh, those mountains don't have a lot of vegetation and no and no with no glaciers left the erosion out of control. Yeah. Extra urban development, yes. 
And then with all the clear cutting of trees and forests, forests, which reduces again, because we all learned in school, the basic principle and foundation that trees eat carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. The very thing that we need to breathe in order to live. Oops. Oops. I think King William, King of Williams, I think their biggest issue probably was the factor that some the scientists are saying we need to listen to indigenous people. And they had an issue with that. Why do we need to listen to indigenous people? What do these Indians know that we don't know? We're much more smarter than they are. Don't worry, the Project Anvil might be gone by 2060. At the present rate, yeah, exactly. The Amazon, yeah. <sighs> Crazy world we live in. Where is the greatest biodiversity in the world? Where there's indigenous people, of course. Exactly, Mago. By 2060, we will have fire, acid, rain, and fire tornadoes. Yeah. I got really excited for a second there. Yeah, right? The difference one word makes. Yeah, exactly, right, Gage? Don't give us false hope. <laughs> Good thing they are not employed at our research institutions, right? I know, I said Amazon so many times in various different conversations. Right about the article. Uh, Europeans monocrop because of old religious laws. Yep. The fire tornadoes that shoot out of the bees. Fire bees. Indigenous peoples in America? What? Yeah. Yeah, DJ. Exactly, right? What would we possibly know? And then, you know, it's like, oh, what do you mean we're going to go to primitive an um, anarchism? Hey, Bob. After Welcome in. Years. Kill him! Well, there are actually religious laws about monocropping. Yeah. So, what we find is There's both a commodity and politicians only shame for wanting to make the poor comfortable. Yeah. The most significant thing we can learn from the indigenous people is how we can reinvent the concept of what is property. Especially in land extraction is stupid. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Pablo, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Feel free to say hello. We don't bite. So what what we look at is <laughs> renegade. No, you don't renegade. You just nibble. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. No. You'll nibble before you know your ear is gone. Yep. <laughs> uh. 
so this is what we look at right it's like okay so last night quite a few took their masks off and and revealed some very revealing things about them that literally made a lot of people there like literally in, in the chat that were watching it going like wow are you kidding me and and that's okay I mean you know The old people used to say wherever, good morning, Hildy. How's my niece doing? Hope she's doing well. If she hasn't gone to school yet, please tell her uncle loves her and is proud of her. I think I think it's important because you know the old people used to tell us when we go in and we're speaking truth people will start to reveal themselves more and more hey boof thank you for the gifting of a tier one sub to DJ awesome boof welcome in welcome in good morning good morning Oh jeez. Boof with the with, with the generous gifting of subs. Thank you, Boof. Thank you very much, Rye. Welcome. Welcome to being part of the clan now. <laughs> Bite DJ. <laughs> I was forced into it, yeah. He took me by surprise. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate this, Yoko. I will try to return after I catch damage report and get my paper weaving ready. Thank you for having me. No problem, Tomb. Welcome back anytime. Not a problem. I just thought it was kind of funny, you know, because it's like, there's little old me, surrounded by all of this, getting bombarded on. <laughs> but that's all right. I don't mind. It is what it is. Although I do find it kind of interesting when uh, Miss Vivian showed up that they kind of started to settle down a bit. Especially when Miss Vivian started talking to them exactly what I was saying. And Miss Vivian is a white woman or a white trans. Um, he, they, 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 them. God. But you know, <coughs> you don't want to hear some of the things I can talk about. Anti-imperialism, also pro-imperialism support from the left and pro. Yeah, I know silver. I know. It makes me shake my head. Right, every single white person is a chauvinist on this platform, basically. Yeah. Hankies are cringe. <sighs> Even the good ones also have a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think some of them were like literally researching treaties and shit after after the panel. 
we're like re totally researching like land back and everything and we're like going like damn tankies are not leftists in spite of their own opinion yeah. <laughs> <coughs> but it's cool it's cool <laughs> hey uh rye um they call silver a tanky by the way just so you know they cr uh, hey creator put me in a white coat i'll never let that take away my humanity exactly renegade ironically saying tanky is cringe <laughs> y'all can keep spouting spitting bullshit that bullshit but uh, I'm a tanky. <laughs> Wants to be, that's their choice. Hey, Silver, I'm not spouting anything. Although I think my community is teasing you, though, Silver. At least for the most part, I believe. I'm talking to chat. You are good, Sue. And, okay. Thank you, Hildy. It's not really teasing, to be fair. It's literally anti-communist attacks these days. I don't think anybody really is anti-communist here. Or at least I don't think so. Hey, look, look, they're coming. <laughs> okay, let me play a video here. The CIA are coming. They're after you. <laughs> no, that's my background noise, so they would be after me, right? <laughs> I'm sure some of them don't intend to be that way. But saying shit like tankies aren't lefties or tankies are bad, etc. is anti-communism and you shouldn't ever say it. I'm a car carrying dude paying communist. Arrest me. <laughs> right, buddy? You're the first. They're using you to get to silver. Yeah. The FBI literally arrested eight Chinese Americans as Chinese communist spies in November. Yeah, I know, right, silver? I don't think so, I'm not into Soviet or major Maoist apologists. It's enough that they committed genocide in my country. Wait, Rai, which country are you in again? Oh, Poland. Was that Stalin? By chance? Uh, uh, well, you know, Stalin wasn't exactly a true communist, right? You realize that, right? He had some communist, communist, communist. He had some communist takes, but Poland is where my family escaped from to come here in the early 20th century. I don't consider it too communism. What, what, what's, what's literally anti-communism? Or whatever, there's different types. There were literal anti-Stalinist communists. Were they? During the Span Spanish Civil War, Stalin wasn't a real communist. Well, I mean, he did have some pretty fucking um, authoritarian takes, didn't he? But I don't want to get into that today, so y'all have a good one. <laughs> okay, Silver, thank you for popping by. Thank you for following. Come back anytime, bro.
I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just hide behind Lennon's advice to not let Stalin take leadership after Lennon's death. Silver, are you streaming today? Silver, Dorian wants to know if you're streaming today, if you're still here, buddy. Oh, Boof, thank you for the 1K biddies. Wow. Thank you, Boof. I greatly appreciate that. So I need to grab something, so I'm going to play a, 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 a video. To entertain the masses while I grab what I need to grab. And of course, it's never in where you need it, right? Yes, here we are. Get the fuck off a mountain. You get the fuck off a mountain. Cause we will never run. Cause we love more than we scare your guns. Get the fuck off a mountain. You get the fuck off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love More than we scare your guns Open our eyes to see a better way Work together for a more collective say Not go half a call it go all the way We living in a blessed era of Max Holloway It is what it is, us champs grind every day Steady banging, I know oh Hawaii ne Jedi Guardians of the Galaxy, non-fiction, non fallacy Our home, not a theme park, museum or gallery Off the grid, down in the valley Living sustainably and happily What we need, we get plenty Nobody crank it, go easy spank it With your hanky panky, ho ante Making big noise and we got them listening Chanting, singing, dancing and we whispering In a battle never ending, mount a defending trending This rebellion beginning to the happy ending Get the flock off our mountain You get the flock off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love more than we scare your guns Get the flock off our mountain You get the flock off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love more than we scare your guns In this circle of assassins we use words as weapons Tearing tyranny apart while we teaching lessons Chanting down this Babylon system on pressing Lighting up the darkness, cleaning messes and spreading blessings Ready, willing, and restless. Key out your frontliners in the trenches, ready to wreck shit. Dug in deep on heavy gangster beat. Bring the heat, never back down, surrender or retreat. Small victories, slight adjustments, press repeat. Our stories we now speak, we no need sneak. Nature over concrete is how we snatch in victory from your jaws of defeat. Rah! Get the fuck off a mountain. You get the flock off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love More than we scare in your guns Kila kila kemao na wakea E holo no ika buve Okala hui aloha e na hoi na kia i mai uka keke E hulia e huli mai e hulia e huli mai e hulia e huli mai Get the flock off our mountain. You get the flock off our mountain. Cause we will never run. Cause we love more than we scare your guns.
Okay, I'm back. What I miss? Hey, Kachin. What's up, Alicia? Hey, Stark. Stark, didn't I see you try and going live earlier? What are you doing? The work of the what? Also, why I saw somebody um, posted something about tankies and you know supporting the Chinese people, but not the CPC. And it's like the reason why we don't engage in that isn't because we don't care about what's happening in China or with people in China, but we re we recognize that we live in a society that is virulently anti-socialist. So this any information true. you get will be anti-socialist propaganda. This is so true. if you're sitting there worried about critiquing Chinese socialism and not dismantling American or imperialism or capitalism, you are doing the work of the imperial nations and it needs to stop. But anyways, let's continue. This is true. Also, why I saw somebody. Um, this is true. This is true. This is true. I hear ya. Okay. Yes, Alicia, and and and, and it's fucking awesome. That is quick to blame others but ignore our own problems. Yes, sir. Well. Okay, Mag, Mago, we'll see you later. I'm gonna head out too, actually. Ah, Dorian. All right, buddy. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll see you later. The moment you say all tankies are trash, you are not helping the cause of socialism. You are dividing us. And I certainly don't agree with all tankies on every issue. I don't agree 100% on everything with everyone. Weird vibes in here today. Well, do we need a smudge? I think we need to first try, you know, like, I think over here in North America, so-called North America, we need to fix the shit going on in our own backyards. How about we focus on our own problems in the U.S.? Hey, standing point. Before worrying about the problems of other countries. This is true, sir, but... Muslims deserve support too far too, for example, and China operates a state capitalism anyway. It's not any better or worse than the US. We got a lively group today. <laughs> so what we're going to be what well, what we're going to be looking is, yeah, you know, human rights above ideology. But if those ideologies promote human rights, 
uh, that's another part. That's another part too. We have our own shit to worry about right now. We can't do shit about anything bad that China has done until after we fix our own shit. Good morning, Ace. I'm, I'm out too. I started a personal feeling and stirred up too much drama and I apologize.
sitting here. Oh. <laughs> My mods have decided. I love you, Rye, but come on now. Thank you, ELD. <clears throat> Damn. So, <sighs> so Groundhog Day was a thing. Let me see. Something that's not drama filled. Oh, Marilyn Manson. No, just kidding. Hey everyone, how's it going? Hey everybody, thanks for joining. Hi everyone. Hey. Happy snow day. I hope everyone's been able to kind of take today, at least if you're in the Northeast, at least if you're in um, New York, we've had a ton of um, snow come down over the last couple days hey everybody how's it going oh my gosh all these little waves hi adikar hi dr heather hi everyone hey everybody someone said how's deco in the snow he's loving dan price asked how's deco in the snow he's loving it um we got deco last january actually um, and, uh, you know, he, he got a little bit of snow, um, experience when he was a little puppy, but he has way more now. Um, so he's loving it. Hi everybody. 
Hey everyone, thanks for joining. All right, let's hop to it. Um, so I'm hopping on live today um, to talk about what happened at the Capitol. And um, I want to just say a couple of things in advance. One is that, um, first of all, I am sorry if this live is like very wide reaching. It's not my intent to ramble, um, but a lot went on and a lot led up to, when, to what went on. Um, and I think it's important to talk about it. Um, so, you know, that's first things first, is that thanks for your patience as I try to communicate this story to you in advance. Um, secondly, you know, I think it's important for me to say that my story is one of many stories of what happened in the Capitol. Um, there were food service workers there were that were afraid for their lives. There were custodial workers that had to clean up after the just wreckage of white supremacists. And many of those workers were black and brown and immigrant, um, then put in through the experience of having to clean up, clean up for white supremacists, um, clean up after the mess of white supremacists. Um, there were other members of Congress, there were staffers, there were children. And so, um, all of this is to say is that my story is just one story. It's not the only story, nor is it anywhere close to the central okay, story. Um, but the reason why I think it's important to share is because so many of the people who helped perpetrate and who take responsibility for what happened in the Capitol are trying to tell us all to move on. And they're trying to tell us to forget about what happened. I feel They're you, trying Andy. to tell us that it wasn't they a big deal. They need to calm down too. They're trying to tell us to move on without any accountability, without any truth telling, or without actually confronting the extreme damage, physical harm, loss of life, and trauma that was inflicted on not just me as a person, not just other people as. I, I'm, I'm just gonna say this, you know, when you notice people are leaving a conversation behind and uh, people are leaving, that's usually a sign to like stop and go, wait a minute, maybe I'm going too far with this. And maybe I should, you know, curb myself and reel myself back in a bit. These are usual things. Hey, Ryan. Good morning to you. These are things that we as human beings just have to learn within ourselves in the things that we do and how we interact with people. I mean, this was the first time Silver was in my in my stream, and then Silver had to leave. And I like Silver. I think Silver is a fucking awesome dude. And we have so many things that we need to be looking at. You know, like, how it is that we have so many people on the left who are still stuck in white supremacy, who are still stuck in whiteness, who are still stuck in colonialism, ideology, and mindset, and an and authoritarian mindset. In our communities, we have so many things that we have to look at and try and fix.
before we start looking to other countries, we have shit in our own backyard we have to clean up. Ass bubbles. We have things that we have to clean up first. Like, seriously. Military propaganda is so strong in this country. Yes, Ryan, it is. We have to ask ourselves some serious questions. And I hope Silver watches the VOD of this later. BSAD, hell yeah, brother. 100% would be with you. Thank you. Lavender Gunrunner, how much do you think attractiveness, not talking about race or sex, affects someone's life? Do you think it's big or small effects? What does attractiveness has to do with anything we're talking about? Lavender. Well, you can wait until, you know, a little later on when, when it's the right moment. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay, cool. It's okay, Gage. It's okay. It, you know, this is a learning process. You know what I mean? And, and my stream has always been focused on learning education, understanding, compassion, and helping people to grow. It's always been that way. So we have to take a look at these kind of things and realize The reason why every single couple of decades this movement goes tries to go forward and gain ground and then fails and then it's like forgotten about until the next couple of generations go by and then boom it's up again. is because too many people focus on everything else but and capitalism and colonialism are really good at brainwashing people into these ideologies and into this way of thought pattern. It's really good at it because it starts you at the very core of the young age when you first start to learn. When you first start to understand things, it already starts to bombard you. And we all know it's like you know, being institutionalized. You're just living in it for so long that you don't know or understand anything else. And when something new comes, it takes time for you to break out of that institutionalized mindset and step into freedom. It takes time to heal. It takes time to grow. I, you know, I don't want people to, uh, just thinking about all my G.I. Joe toys growing up, it's hard because it does start at such a young age. Yes, it does, Ryan. <clears throat> this is what I talk about, you know, when I keep saying all the time, we started learning as a child when we started to understand things. We were bombarded with this brainwashing, this institutionalized, that we have so many years of it 
that we have to undo. And until we do that, we're always going to be learning and healing. And we have to try to heal those things. We have to try to wake up. We have to constantly remind ourselves of these things. Otherwise, we get too carried away with trivial shit while we're losing sight of what's right in front of us. What's going on right in front of our very own eyes. You know, we have what? Four to six homes that are sitting empty per one homeless person? We waste 30 million dollars of food every day in every city, in each city. 30 million, 20, 22 homes per person in the United States last time I checked. Thank you, Ryan, thank you. That's a lot. That's a lot of fucked up shit. I know Gage, I know, I know Gage. I want to try and, uh, we aren't even counted, counting the retail commercial spaces that could be house people too. Exactly, Soper, and welcome back. Or if you're still here, if you were still here lurking, cool. Um, I've been here just lurking. Aw. <laughs> Thanks, Solar. In my hometown just sitting empty and rotting away. Exactly, Ryan. Wow, that's an excellent point too, Silver. Yeah. I hate landlords. My landlords suck. All landlords suck. Okay? They're making profit off of stolen land. That they don't even really own. My front door is still stuck open because they are painting it. And I hate it. Yeah, I feel you, Silver. Middle of winter, they're painting it, right? Well, you know, the government paid us your rent, but we're going to make sure that you pay your rent on top of that because we got to make a bigger profit. <laughs> and a pandemic. Yeah, exactly, right? Right, Silver, right? Like, how fucked up is that shit? This is what I mean. We get bombarded with all of this shit that literally makes us defocus on what's going on in front of us. And the whole entire reasoning why this movement is reawakening again. It's not like the first time this movement, you know, it's not like the very first time this movement ever came into existence. It's been going on for generations. And every time we get bombarded and all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, yeah, let's forget about this. We need to focus on China, yeah, or we need to focus on this or that or this other country. Never mind what's going on in your own backyard. Meanwhile, the world watches the U.S. asking, they can can they go yeah can they go any lower exactly servo exactly right like oh my god you all know i love you all without a shadow of a doubt i love each and every one of you and i've been going over constantly for since i started streaming trying to introduce to you a way to awaken yourself and to raise that question with inside of your mind to question the horse shit that is being shoved down our throats every day.
Right on, Renegade. These are things that I keep pushing and keep hoping that you'll understand what I'm trying to share with you all. The wisdom and knowledge. How do you think indigenous societies manage to get along just fine and, and, and cultures and, 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 and communities manage to get along just fine with each other? Pre-colonization. And still during colonization, still to this day, How is it that indigenous people can do things like Wet'suwet'en, uh, you know, all the different standoffs and, and protests and everything? How is it that we can do it and we like literally people, you know, different indigenous tribes and nations come from miles, thousands of miles to join up in it in solidarity or to do start doing things all over North America in solidarity? How is that possible? Yes, Silver, exactly. This is why we communicate. <coughs> Communication is very much a very key. They teach us that indigenous people lived in the wild and were always at war, and that's not true at all from what I'm reading. There were uh, Mechas on the East Coast with thousands of populations. Yeah. You know, North America had fucking all the way Turtle Island all the way down from one end to the other all around had trading routes all set up exactly silver a built in interstate system yes how was that possible oh wait that's right we were savage and uncivilized and only warred we only did war yeah 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 and the Aztecs, yeah, the Aztecs. The Incan and the other indigenous cultures managed to have urban cities with urban farming systems that took their cities' waste to the farmland. Yeah, exactly, Silver. In Iran, the indigenous peoples there managed to create ice cream without uh, having freezes. Yeah, even here in North America, it's called Indian ice cream. We managed to be able to have ice cream without freezers. Choke cherry indigenous ice, ind native ice cream. Choke cherry ice cream. Without having freezers. I know, right, daughter? I know, right? These are things we have to look at. These are things like the panel I was in last night that apparently didn't want to admit or even look at. No, Servo. <laughs> the white man was not the one who invented civilization. Yo, uh, daughter, tell my son-in-law that his father-in-law says that he needs to buy his daughter and make sure that his daughter has some, some, some ice cream for a birthday treat. <laughs> no problem, my girl. These things we have to look at, people. We have to learn and understand things. We have to be able to communicate with each other. How can we find a common ground when there is none? 
We have to build a common ground with each other. We have to build communication with each other. We have to build that understanding with each other. And if all we're going to get is constant fucking bickering back and forth and whatever else, and not doing anything to awaken ourselves or to understand what's actually really going on, then we're fucked. Yeah. Well, apparently some people believe that treaties aren't, aren't, aren't good enough. This is where I shield food sovereignty because through food we can build communication. True, Silver. True. The U.S. citizen is a criticized country for human rights. Also the U.S. country with the largest British population. Yeah, Servo. And, and not forget, don't forget, Servo. The U.S. and Canada are both very much aggressively still continuing on a genocide of indigenous people to this day. These things we need to understand and, and awaken up and get out of this mindset that Only white settler colonialist. Uh, yeah, exactly, Servo. We need to get out of this mindset. That doesn't allow for people of color BIPOC to gain freedom and equality that doesn't allow for indigenous people to have sovereignty on their own lands, their own, their own island, their own country. We need to grow, grow, get out of that concept because that is capitalist and colonialist and, and authoritarian in its finest. Right there. How can you call yourself a leftist if you're against people of color? If you don't support black lives, if you don't support land back for indigenous people, the U.S. considers direct democracy to be a human rights abuse uh, and that political parties is democratic. We can throw out their definition on its face without their own human rights abuses. Yeah, yeah, Alicia, yeah. Here's the other thing you got to realize. What is it that's going on behind our backs that they're not telling us? Because we've all seen throughout the years and decades that every time there's something going on that's like some huge fucking thing. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. We know every time that some tragic event or something or when they call for a war and they start rolling out the propaganda machine, the Great Reset, do you mean their space race? Do you mean their neo-feud race or the dystopian race? All of the above, Silver. All of the above. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro?
Exactly. They're all intertwined. It's like a fucking spider web. At first, when you plot to deceive, tangle, you'll end up getting tangled in that web. So these are things, you know, we have to take a serious look at. Like, what the fuck is going on? And what are they doing behind our backs? That they're not telling us about. Yes, exactly, Renegade, exactly. Oh, the wicked webs we weave when we first choose to deceive. Hey... We did those people at Bikini Atoll a favor when dropped a nuke on their islands. Yeah, exactly, right, Servo? I keep telling people to compare our situation with how the pre-World War I, because the reasons for war with China or, or Iran, etc., is the same reason Germany declared war in World War I. Yeah. Exactly, Silver. Exactly. Imperialists must stop their enemies from overcoming the economic dominance of the Western hegemon. I'm trying to word this properly, so please forgive me if it's not a good way. Uh, it's not a good way to represent it, but it's the idea that anti-imperialism is not inter intervening in supposed human rights violations or at least not intervening if we haven't fixed our own issues first that's right gage you got it right i lived in Fairville, arizona for a while and there's a big population of marshallese people there because their lands were the testing grounds for nukes yeah exactly ryan <coughs> <coughs> You know, or only intervening if the native population requests it. Oh, they don't even intervene when the native population requests it. Uh, let's ask a series of questions to try and help us. Let's use Iraq as an example. If Saddam is the leader of Iraq and he's committing crimes, a known fact. How do we deal with that? Is the international, as the international community, we know sanctions kill. We know intervention is not our place. So what do we do? Well, the goal should be propaganda, aimed at the people, not sanctions, not intervention. We would, we would want to help educate the people on Saddam's crimes, so they rise up. I mean, human rights violations were usually told about or to get us prepared to go to war with said human rights violating country. Vietnam is often the human rights watch. Imperialism is lie, lies or exaggerations about human rights to provoke war. But you see, we did them a favor by saving them from their barbaric island ways by moving them to civilized. Yeah, exactly, right, Zero? Everyone there thinks they are Mexicans are all in me. It's so fucked up. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. See? <laughs> look at look, look at what we had with the G, GME thing and an AME thing. Literally, hedge fund. Spoiled brats crying because people screwed up them their chance of getting more money. Yeah, exactly, Silver. The U.S. knew about their own human rights violations. They would go over. Yeah, exactly, Bubbles. Right? Exactly, my girl.
Yeah, exactly, Silver. What if those human rights violations are faked bullshit and lies? All we know is whatever they put on our TV or in the newspapers or what they allow to be seen in our country then is the main source of human rights violations happening to as well. He's a rapist. Exactly. We don't get shown what's going on because look at if you if you if you play a video and and it's up on YouTube. There are companies, there are big corporate companies that literally of uh, prevent it from being seen in different um, countries. Education so that the uh, people themselves can solve the problem. Faith in the people is required. This is true, Silver. When the government and the military and all these different play, all these different little things, and especially when corporate instead of the US default which is let's do a big murder yeah exactly gadget see instead of that instead of sh allowing us to see what's really going on we're only getting to see what they allow us to see when you own the TV and means of information you get to describe prescribe whatever you want the people to know. Know what I mean? Not ruling caste of the system that propped up said ruling class at the very core, that's what it means to be a communist, regardless of whether you're ML, ML, anarchist, syndicalist, or whatever. Yeah, Alicia, yeah. Here, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do this. I wanna do this. Hopefully, yes, there it is. Here we got it. Me and all my friends were all misunderstood. They say we stand for nothing and there's no way we ever could Now we see everything that's going wrong with the world and those who lead it We just feel like we don't have the means to rise above and beat it So we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change it's hard to beat the system when you're standing at a distance. We keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Now, if we had the power to bring our neighbors home from war, they would have never missed a Christmas. No more weapons on the door. And when you trust your television, what you get is what you got. Cause when they own the information, oh, they can bend it all they want. It's why we're waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. It's not that we don't care, we just know that the fighting fair. So we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. 
waiting on the change, but it seems so far, cause we are scarred by the past, scared of something different than the madness on my street, cause all I see is drama, can you imagine peace, lost a few friends, but I'm still holding on to the thought of better days, so I put it in my songs, why can't we get along, it's war overseas, and war on my block, we're no different from each other, when will the pain stop, still waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change, we keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change, one day a generation is gonna rule the population So we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change 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 Yeah, well, I say camera rolling. Yeah, camera rolling. And then music. Yeah, even the song is waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. There you go, Gadge. There you go, Gage. See, these are things that we got to remember, people. They own the information. They give us whatever they want. They decide the information that we get. We don't decide. They do. And they're never going to do anything that shoots themselves in the foot in what they're doing. Columbus has to die. After 500 years, kill him! Thank you for the follow, Servo. Understand that. They own the information. We do not. So therefore, we get what they tell us they want us to know. That's all we get is what they want us to know. They only shoot themselves in the foot if it means the rest of us get shot in the head. Exactly, Alicia. Or yeah, shot in the heart, sorry. I don't know why I said head. <laughs> yeah, that's true, right? So, we have to take in consideration of these things. When they own all the information and the means to deliver that information, we're not getting all of it. We're not getting the truth. I mean, come on. It wasn't like what? I think the last cowboy and Indian movie was like made like, you know, in the last 20 years or something going where all you heard was, like I was reading about the military coup in Menara the other day and how the major news called it an anti-coup action and referred to the Menara's legit leader leaders as civilian government. That language is very deliberate up front and up front. The system showing us that it sees Menara as a territory to be militarized and colonized. Exactly, Bubbles. How do you think it is? They own the information that our children get taught in schools. 
They decide what our kids get to learn. And it's never anything really truly helpful other than to be a worker bee. And only a select few get to go anywhere above and beyond that. The language that was in their constitution which makes things legal the law is an ass for most of my heroes have much sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Servo, right? Exactly. It won't be a legitimate government until it's a Western democracy implemented by the U.S. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's not a legitimate government. Civilian, civilian government, so they're saying the government of by and for the people is not the kind of democracy the Western world wants to see. Yet, yet, exactly, Alicia, right? But yet, in the Constitution it says, what was that it says? What does it say in the beginning of the Constitution? What was it that's in the Constitution? The first, the first part of the very first part of it? We the people? The government is supposed to be for the people? Hmm. Hmm. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union. <laughs> hmm interesting establish justice ensure democracy tranquility but then they implement the electoral college yeah the US Constitution is a sham yes and it saddens me that they took the Constitution from the great law of peace from the Iroquois and bastardize it into what we see today. Exactly, Renegade, they knew exactly that it means the shit wasn't right from the start. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Interesting. <coughs> Things that make you go, hmm. And well, you know, I have to say, because I've enjoyed it so much. My friends were all misunderstood They say we stand for nothing And there's no way we ever could Now we see everything that's going wrong With the world and those who lead it We just feel like we don't have the means To rise above and beat it So we keep waiting, waiting Waiting on the world to change We keep on waiting, waiting Waiting on the world to change it's hard to beat the system when you're standing at a distance. We keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Now, if we had the power to bring our neighbors home from war, they would have never missed a Christmas. No more ribbons on the door. And when you trust your television, what you get is what you got. Cause when they own the information, oh, they can bend it all they want. It's why we're waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. It's not that we don't care, we just know that the fight ain't fair. So we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Waiting 
waiting on the change, but it seems so far, cause we are scarred by the past, scared of something different than the madness on my street, cause all I see is drama, can you imagine peace, lost a few friends, but I'm still holding on to the thought of better days, so I put it in my songs, why can't we get along, it's war overseas, and war on my block, we're no different from each other, when will the pain stop, still waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change, we keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. One day a generation is gonna rule the population. So we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Waiting on the world to change. Wait on the world's change Wait on the world's change Yes, Servo. COVID did change the world. Yes, yes, you're right. So, what goes hand in hand with what we just learned there and what we heard there? Yes. We the people are the ones who gonna have to fight. We used to say, which side are you on? Which side are you on? The truth is, we're in so much debt that the only way out is revolution or war. So now the question is, which side are you on? On, 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 on. on. Which side are you on, boy? Which side are you on? See before I draw the line, let me welcome you close to all the folks who knew Obama, so the people of hopes gave the money to suckers while our community still poor. Withdrew the troops but started another war, colonizing, terrorizing, creating the oil crisis so they can make a kill on no food and gas prices. Prisons is filling, they trying to lock up the future. Militarized borders and control of computers. Won't a stupid bump the music that ain't healthy for the shortest Privatizing schools and policemen in the hallways Can't be dormant, I'm awoken Rise up, be ready Brought the family with us And we hold the machetes Riding the fence, riding the fence Too many people be riding the fence Yeah, you say you ready for war But are you convinced? I'm not convinced If you're a rider, freedom fighter Crowd excited, then let's do this We can make one big united Middle finger to the US Give me the bravest and the truest Fuck the hippest and the coolest We gon' spark this revolution And cross this off our to-do list Put your foot down if you look down On this criminal system them. Put your book down and get shook down like my niggas in prison Don't be condemning and condoning their actions in one sentence But keep your mind, you decide that you a patriot or a menace to society So riot or sit by quietly But don't pull out the flag and try to say you gon' ride with me You flip-flopping like hip-hop, I don't get locked in that trick box Get got like big and pop, shit's got to stop I am the people, not the pig, I repeat after Fred So please blow my brains out if I ever forget I'm with the air, the thinkers I'm down with the movers and the shakers and the X Henny drinkers, the non-smokers, the health advocates, the non-voters, the young bloods in the hood training like soldiers. I'm on the side of the tracks with the hood gardens, the little child that don't color inside the margins. I don't ride the fence, I cultivate my strength, cause if it ain't about power, it don't make sense. I've been down with Boogie Down since Beatty Peace and Brown Pride, and Black Power make RBG. A OG told me choose battles wisely, in the struggle don't forget your children and your wife. If you don't See me on the podium preaching it Every day I hope my every action is teaching it Cause revolution is a process It's not a speech or a panel It'll bite off more than you can handle Yo, I still rock hard like slingshots in Palestina Con todos los estudiantes por educación gratuita I'm with workers uprising and the right to unionize We ain't crossed the border so you better legalize I'm with La Peña del Bronx I'm still with Vitor Toro Cause gentrification is polluting my borough So bro never, South Bronx forever Decolonize the block, make your neighborhood better I ain't down with the rich, I'm more Richie Perez Don't talk to grand juries or cooperate with feds I'm with students, doctors 
janitors, teachers, we need living wages, but they don't believe us. Monida, Barreto, Spofford, Hunts Point, my point, my hood, I love, we join forces, forming our deck, we ex. Taking over buildings, rap with Diaz for the children. Politics to sickness, streets express symptoms. Caught up with a quickness, big business pimps them. Scholars play the simple sin, fools play with wisdom. Who will stand and fight back? Who will play the victim? Trials and tribulations, injured generations. Stolen history and outsourced innovation. Babel Tower fell, tribes are at war. The battle story's not represented in the score. The game's fixed, most of the faces and names switch. Credit stolen for art, science, religion. And language, technology, philosophy, and with strangers. They paid in hatred for the knowledge of the ancients. Power in words, actions, good swords. Hey, Panthers, Brown, Berets, Young Lords. Pick a side, one sickness, one cure, one love, one blood, one world, but one war. Anyone feeling me yet? You know, uh, uh, unless you're one of the first Americans, hey. a Native American, you came from someplace else. Somebody brought you. Welcome in, GOP. Hello, Raiders. Welcome in. Hey, thank you, Gage, for subscribing at Tier 1. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Cassidy. Columbus has to die. After 500 years, kill him! All good, bruh. All good. All good. No worries. No worries. All good. All good. Welcome in. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Welcome in, welcome in. All right, GOP. Uh, we'll see you later, buddy. Thank you for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. I am worth 10 raiders. Aww. <laughs> You see, we have to think about these things. There's stuff going on that they're not telling us all of it. They're only giving us one-sided version of it. Not the truth. Just one-sided that makes what they want predominant. Hey, Clo. Welcome in. Good to see you. Um, because I'm still waiting to get uh, the money from my GoFundMe here into my bank account so I can get a new computer system. Until then, I'm on a toaster. And I'm stuck using Twitch Studio Beta app in order to stream so bear with me change will come we shall grow we shall overcome I am too Cassidy I am too I'm like woohoo Yes. 
Yes, they do. Although, um, I might eventually later on um, try and work on increasing the specs and stuff that I want, but. Yes. <laughs> right, Servo? First, let me check my Instagram. Wait, wait, wait. I got to do a Facebook selfie. What what day is it today? Is it food? Is it food day? Is it Tuesday? Where I take a picture of whatever it is I'm eating and put it on Facebook? <laughs> right, Hoffman? Yeah, well, you know, I uh, I guess, you know, me being a disabled person, um, unfortunately, I'm not able to do a whole lot of work anymore. First, let me check my Instagram. Oh, wait, it's brunch. Is, is brunch about to start? Oh, yeah, the revolution can wait. I'm hungry. <laughs> exactly, Alicia, right? The cameras have all disappeared. Okay, everybody, let's go to brunch. <laughs> exactly, Ray and the Gate. Can we eat brunch while we revolution? That would be nice, Gate. I have a question about radical indigenous left, but I don't know if you are in the middle of something already. My boss forces me to come to the office in the middle of a pandemic while he stays home and watches Fox News, hence why I'm here on Twitch. Exactly, Servo. Reclaim brunch for the proletarian, yeah. I know how exciting the new computer can be. I just got my first new computer in over a decade. Nice, Cassidy. Uh, what is your question, though, that you would like to know? Ham, Ambi. About radical indigenous left. What would you like to know? Cass, do you still have those blue streaks in your hair? Just a question. Us too, Cassidy. We got our first new computer in over a decade. Well, a half a year ago. Nice, Alicia. It's a wig? Oh, dang. That's a fucking nice wig, doll. That's a nice wig, I have to say it. I'm curious about your position on land back, since radical left often says no land ownership. Well, being that I'm an indigenous person, I am fully 100% for land back. But see, our way of understanding land is not of ownership. It is living within it, in honor and respect of it, learning to live in balance with it not an ownership of it. So land back just basically means it's coming back to the original people who were here before colonialization came, before settlers came. The original people, the OGs. And land back will help you in a thousand many different ways. Nice, Cassidy.
So for me, as an indigenous person, yes, Lambac is very, 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 very good. And Lambac should be anyone's on the left should be in all full agreement with. I mean, let's see. It would end greedy landlords from bothering you every month to collect a collect rent. <clears throat> the US mentally can't give the land back if there's no more indigenous people to give it back to. Yeah, exactly, Sir Rose. That's why they're trying to make sure that they genocide us as best as they possibly can. <coughs> uh, you know, just, 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 just assimilate. Melting pot theory. So that we don't have to give the land back. And landlords who are, who are charging you rent off of stolen land can still kick you out if you don't pay them rent for stolen land. Whereas land back would be, uh, there goes the fucking rent. Never mind the rent. Uh, pretty darn close, Alicia. Pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Except not like having feudal over, over overlords. If that makes sense, Alicia. It's not like having a feudal overlord. That one person owns it, and you're you, you they they can kick you off their land at any time, uh, and so on. It, that's that's not what we're looking at. Even the commons was managed by feudal lords. Yeah, we're we're not looking at like a feudal lord thing. More like, hey, uh, you know, you're living in our territory, but uh, we have a bunch of different things that need to be fixed, like different houses and stuff. Um, what is your skill sets? Yeah, we were debating whether to word it as taking the king's private hunting grounds and returning them to commons, but we went for a simpler explanation and said, yeah, exactly, Alicia, yeah. Most people, Hombai, are afraid of the idea of land back. Not because of, of, of the factor that it will do them a thousand, a thousand times good, but because they're so used to what we have now that it scares the shit out of them. Exactly, Alicia, they're taught to fear it. It's like when you have a criminal that spent 20, 30, 40 years inside of a penitentiary, when they get out, they're scared because they don't know. They're just so used to being institutionalized. They've been taught that they don't deserve basic necessities. Yes, Gage. And it's been a brainwashing since the moment that you could start, that you start to conceive and understand things the brainwashing begins to this capitalist colonial colonial imperious mindset uh, I agree my hair has been the color of a rainbow I have uh -huh, Cassidy land has been the source of wealth for a long time so yeah brainwashing exactly <coughs> 
Cassidy, one of these days, you and me are going to have a conversation about hair product and how to properly make sure you look after your hair, especially after you dye it so many different times. So you don't end up killing your hair, your hair follicles and stuff. I'll, 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 I'll share with you some uh, indigenous uh, indigenous uh, tips and treat and uh, tricks for that <laughs> so we're at the two hour and 23 minute mark land being the source of wealth is a carryover from the days of monarchs. Uh, there's a reason a lot of us refer to capitalism as neo feudalism, and this kind of stuff is why. Hey, thank you for the tier one subscription. I'm by. Thank you very much. Welcome to the tribe. Good, don't use heat tools. No, please don't. I knew an elder who, she used to dye her hair all the time. I dye my hair like once, but I think I have dark hair. I bleached it and took it, and it took years for it to get healthy again. Yeah, exactly. There are so many different things, but we're at the two hour and 24 hour, 24 minute mark. I am going to try and chill for myself. If you're following, if you're watching the stream, um, follows are free. Please feel free to follow if you're enjoying the content so far. Um, if you can afford to and able to, um, you know, please feel free to subscribe. Um, subscriptions are always welcome. Um, gifting, gifting subs is, is always graciously welcomed. Um, biddies are always welcomed. All these things help to improve and help go towards um, improving so that I can improve and the content in which you are receiving. Um, and even though I have reached my new computer set or computer um, outfit, so to speak, whatever, um, at 3K, if you still wish to help out and maybe help out so that I can maybe get a little bit nicer of items, um, you're more than welcome to. Uh, the dono link is there. You're more than welcome to. It's a GoFundMe, so it still takes extra donations on top of it. So all good. Um, not necessarily, but you know, if you wish to. I feel you, Cassidy. Yes, exactly, Alicia. Accessories like good headphones and stuff is important too. Yes. So is having a good computer chair. Lord knows. <laughs> Um, you know, when we look at things, 
in reality today? There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to unlearn. Oh yeah, Alicia, <laughs> big time. Renegade, uh, I ditched the chair a few years ago for an exercise ball. Forces my core to stay in posture. Nice, Renegade. I'm a big son of a buck, Renegade. I'm weighing in at four, 483 pounds. I'm a big son of a buck. I'd probably, I'd probably pop that exercise ball. <laughs> I'm a big boy. And once again, look at that, it pops up. You know, Renegade, at one time, I weighed 500 pounds. Oh, Alicia. I'm only six foot. And I weighed 483 pounds. And at one time I weighed 500 pounds. Big boy. Still tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> uh, although not so dark anymore because, uh, well, I haven't been out in the sun for almost a year here, so. <laughs> Only here and there to quickly try and go grab something. Um, <laughs> so you know how that goes. I think maybe I'll uh, look at maybe doing a GoFundMe next time for uh, uh, one of those uh, little, little sauna. <laughs> We've never been able to go out in the sun, to be honest. We don't tan and we always burn. Yeah, I feel you, Alicia. What do you think? Should I turn around and like do a GoFundMe for one of those sun tanning little booths? <laughs> uh, gotta get color back into my skin oh. <laughs> oh my god be a real bougie native last year I did it you know for the entire year to try and help my body deal with the extra stress that was being put on my body by the extra week that I was carrying, especially since a lot of my disability has to do with my spine when it all. Sorry to hear that, Cassidy. Okay, 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 I'll tell you what, daughter. I'll, I'll do a GoFundMe to get two of them and I'll send you one and I'll keep one. Okay. <laughs> How about you go on ahead and save that? <laughs> Yeah, no, right, right? It would probably give me a sunburn. <laughs> uh, you have Irish skin, my girl. Damn, Cassidy. I mean, on one hand, you know, losing weight isn't always a bad thing, but... It depends on whether it's like losing weight to the ultimate extreme. Better idea, go find me to build a sunroom, 
addition onto your house, not just tanning bed, but a whole tanning room. <laughs> I presently at the moment, Alicia, live in an apartment building. I live in the city. I'm an urban Indian. I wasn't always an urban Indian, but for the past few years now, I have been an urban Indian. So I pay rent and taxes and everything else, just like everybody else. I don't live tax free. Vitamin D is extremely important for your immune system, especially now. That's spending twenty direct sun is very good for you. Dang, yeah. I tied to keep last year fell off with a week. Imagine doing it for a year. Yeah. Oh damn. So it sounds like we first need to get a good kind of need to get to a full class. <laughs> yeah, right, Alicia. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be willing to donate that much money to get me a full house. To be honest, I don't think so. And a major vitamin just for me this year, and try to remember to take my vitamins. Oh my God. Daughter. Take your vitamins. Oh wait, let me see here. I just gotta do this real quick. something when the weather is appropriate I find getting my hands in soil and face in the sun 20 minutes a day has profound effects on physical and mental health true renegade true it is true but unfortunately for me um, because I have severely damaged lungs and COPD um, you know I if the weather's good, I go for like walks around my block. Jeez. RV. Thank you very much for gifting Cassidy a tier one sub. Damn. Yay. Cassidy is in the clan. That's it, Cassidy. You've been abducted.
Hey, hey, Cassidy. Cassidy. You've been abducted and you are now part of the tribe. <laughs> oh my god, RB. Thank you very much for the 300 bits, bro. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. I really need you to come to this channel more. Every time I do, it's dope as fuck, so I'm slacking. I can now share my stockpile of feathers. Yes, Cassidy. Yeah, RV. How come you don't, bruh? What's up with that? What's up with that, bruh? You're slacking, bruh. What's up with that? Hmm? 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 <laughs> uh, just teasing you, RB. It's all good, bro. I truly, do, I truly do appreciate that. I really do appreciate the gifty and the, and the 300 bitties. I truly do. Thank you very much. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> Radio is just slamming down all the hype trains, remotes that he's gotten from uh, from the things he does. <laughs> Got one. Alicia, why don't you just bring your girlfriends here? And I think I know who you're, I know, I think I know who you're all talking about, Alicia. So it's like, yeah. Got one. I'm the one, the one I like out of the 25. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Yo, look at, look at, look at, look, 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 look. Radio has, has a current hype train conductor. You want to play games and we're pretty sure your computer can't handle it. Yeah. At the present moment, yeah, Alicia, yeah, my computer can't handle playing those type of games that, that y'all play over there. play with you sometimes if you're up for it. Absolutely. Once I get my new computer and everything set up, you know I'm down for it. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to do this. Yes, we are. Some natives and here's what they telling me They'd rather be selling tea or committing some felonies Than be out to this praying Cause to them they'll be hella weak Cause we should beat them Yes, who did this shit to us until they bleed Fell asleep with the wheel From here I'm smoking weed and pills And everybody else I'm praying hope for people we should kill Straight this character's a secret Cause people they ain't really doubt us Sing and dance of power now And then keep it up in the house Is what you afraid of our natives of dying slow so Scared. We hit the easiest target and fight our own But go ahead and come after me Cause I'm after them But first, 
go out to look around and see what's still happening Cause I can't watch these kids die and then lie like I give a fuck And not do a fucking thing but lie down like I give enough So get a gun if you ready, we gripping on the machete For anybody involved, we got a problem forgetting where you at Where you motherfuckers been, we on the front line Walking with the dead, where you motherfuckers been, we on the front line. Walking with the dead, kill them all, kill them, kill them all, kill them, kill them all, kill them, kill them all. We stay running, gunning, bucking for the struggle, scrapping for our dignity till we bloody up these knuckles. Our protectors got power flowing like an ancient stream. Right, yeah, they be ghosts and violators like it's the fucking routine. Now, this savage path of freedom might be seeming extreme, but I ain't losing one more soul to the boozer and vetamine. See, when I was a youngster, almost lost my fucking mind. Didn't recognize my purpose, didn't value this life. Propaganda almost had me convinced I was worthless but if I kill myself I'd just be doing them a service we can never live free while this land remains stolen concrete muffles the earth so it's like a breath she be holding we can't breathe until she breathes so you know how we be rolling civilization brought the illness rebel vengeance brings the realness inflict damage on the cracker till the lungs are puffing shallow we don't miss a single target when we aiming from the shadows where you motherfuckers been? We on the front line, walking with the dead. Ah. Where you motherfuckers been? We on the front line, walking with the dead. Kill them all. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all. Okay, daughter, see you later. Love you too. So you all, um, I think I am going to take a break from streaming. I still haven't slept yet. I'm still up from last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give two choices. We can raid Bleep Blop Ben or Left Flank Vets. Which one do you want to raid? True, Renegade, true. Both are raid worthy. <sighs> and both have given me raids, so.
think I've caught either of their streams before, so I'm gonna have fun either way. All right, Gage. This is what brought me on to Twitch a few months ago. Okay, Renegade. So, what did I miss? I was in my car. Oh, sorry, Cassidy. I'm gonna take a break on streaming. Um, I still haven't gone to sleep yet. I'm still up from last night. Oh, damn. Sorry to hear that, Cassidy. So, by the sounds of it, it seems like we're looking at raiding left flank bets. Um, and I need to get some sleep because I have a bunch of stuff to do tonight. And one of them is having a... An interesting evening. Not healthy, but I understand I suffer with it some. I know it's not healthy. So I think we'll do left flank bets. And then the next time I stream, um, if Ben is on, I'll do Ben. Because I usually try and do like different people. Um, because I want to try and like hit everybody up. Right? With, with, you know, raids and shit and, you know, stuff like that. I want to try and do those things. Right? So, you know how it goes. Usually you're on when I'm still working. But I'll try and lurk in more work. Work more. I haven't come here in nearly enough. No problem, RV. I mean, I don't want to put you in shit with your work either, right? So, you know... It's all good, bro. I And I truly do appreciate you being here. And coming and hanging out and, and, and helping out and stuff and contributing to the stream. I truly do appreciate that. So today we're going to do left flank bets. Remember to, uh, where are my emails? There they are. Remember everybody to please join in for the raid. We want to show um, our dear brothers there in Left Flank, uh, Left Flank Vets some good old uh, Sioux, Sioux, Sioux community love. Maybe it's just on my end. It might be on your end because I've seen it up there, Cassidy. Uh, so remember we got to show them some good old love make sure that you know everything's good everything's cool much love to you all love y'all dearly y'all are awesome and we'll see you next time J. Edgar Hoover was involved in Fred Hampton's murder. Next up, we continue our look at the assassination of Black Panther leader Fred Hampton in Chicago 51 years ago, as told in a remarkable new feature film premiering at... Oh, shit, what's up? Hey, Wasu, what's up, my man? Um, and actually, I still didn't DM you, but now that it's just me, um, how's Thursday? How's your Thursday night looking? Um, but thank you so much for the raid, brother. Um, and actually, I got to tell you a little dirty secret. Then they did dumps. They call them dumps. Big, massive dumps. Lasu, I got to tell you a secret. Um, the way, and I told you actually that I was like happy you do morning streams and early morning streams. Um, but some of the stuff that you've been doing, right? Like waking up and greeting the day, right? It has actually, it's been... Uh, I don't know. It's been helpful for my brain to not, you know, I guess go just start start on fire, right? Uh, my brain doesn't start the day just, you know, heated. Uh, I'll, I'll, I've been popping you on 
and um, yeah, just kind of some of the <clears throat> the nice steady vibe and that you've been putting out in the morning has been helpful. So hey, thank you so much for the raid. And if you're not following Lost Sue, um, I don't know what the hell you're Columbus doing. Columbus um, has to but, die. After 500 years, kill him! I don't, I don't know. We'll put it up to Columbus you, chat. Do you want to continue to on with the democracy now? After 500 years, kill him! Or we can move on to some other stuff. You let me know.